Butler, thank you. We continue to follow a story we first brought you last month. AES customers are unhappy with the new billing system and the issues that come with it. Fox 59's Claire Curry spoke with one customer and digs deeper into those complaints. Bonnie Bowl has been an AES customer for the last 55 years. And I always tell them when I call them, look at my record. I've never been late with a payment. <laughs> so this is why it's so aggravating. She's paid her bills every month, but since December, AES has no record of her payments, saying she still owes money. It's right at $400 now. Bull has verified with her bank that the payments are going to the right account. She says the issues began after AES changed its billing system in November. I have probably spent five or six hours on the phone on various dates throughout the past three months in an attempt to find out where that money is. Bull is just one customer having issues. What I have here is hundreds of complaints from AES customers from just the last six months. The Indiana Utility Regulatory Commission gave us access to the overwhelming number of billing issues. Last month, AES stated around 10% of users were seeing inaccuracies in their bills. They cannot explain anything as to what's going on with the billing. They have no idea. None of the customer service people, and I've talked to a couple supervisors, and they don't, they're telling me they don't know. And even while complaints are piling up with no resolution, the commission approved a rate hike for AES. Monthly bills could be up to $17 more than their average. My bill's going up $10, about $10. I'm so excited to pay them more money for not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Reporting in Indianapolis, Claire Curry, Fox 59 News. Claire, thank you. And AES just got back to us within the past few minutes. They say no customers will be disconnected as a result of this incident. Also, no late fees will be building up. They've also set up a new helpline for customers. That number is on your screen now. Meanwhile, we've been following the growing headaches for AES customers for months now. You can see all of our previous reporting over on our website. That's fox59.com. Parents of